This is going to really challenge his skills. Oh, look at that. A full swing. It's just so hard to Hang generate on. it. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> As I was saying, one of the best of the PGA Tour around the greens. And this one will travel a bit and land close to hole high. It's going to have a good look at birdie there. Yeah, beautiful shot from Tony there. Starting right at it, turning over to the left, though. Needs to cover. Does. Yeah. I tell you what, he's really starting to get through his golf shots now. Earlier in the round, a little hung back on that right side. You give yourself eagle putts. It's a pretty easy way to score. This is down the hill, moving to his right the whole way. Pretty good lag speed there. Definitely helps that he's hitting the par fives in two today. He's done that twice already. Those are the kinds you can double hit. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Tiger Woods, another birdie on the par five today. Good ball. Oh, there's a beauty from Mr. Woods. You can always tell when a pro golfer hits a good shot. Okay. This little one to Ty Scheffler and Spieth at nine under. Okay. So Tony Finau is making his presence felt in the early stages of this third round. We're going to head up to the ninth and Tiger Woods. Good lie. There's a little tiny spot and he just hit it that would stop the ball. He landed into the upslope. There was about 18 inches on an upslope and he hit it though. Fantastic play there. Making good decisions and executing them. All right, so after a bogey bogey start at one and two, a birdie at three, a birdie at six, a birdie at eight and nine. Oh, that's so good. He landed it in the literally in a hula hoop of the only place you could to get it close to this whole location. What a shot. What a result. Scheffler, we know the ball striking is there. Will he make that eagle putt when we come back to get to 11 under? Jason Day, he's in contention. That was a moment ago at seven. Oh. So well judged. And that gives him a two shot lead to 11 under par. Goes Scotty. That was such a well played par five. Yeah, he's got a little shorter, poppier stroke. Probably can roll a little cleaner than most other players. <laughs> and this is so well judged. Wow. Can't tell you how hard it is to get the speed right. I mean, it's about six or seven feet below the green surface. To get to 10. Okay. That's a heck of an up and down there for Tony. We've seen so many players hit it close here at eight today. It's just so, you just can't miss the left. And everybody hits it four feet right. It's, it's impressive. There's another one. He oh, does. He hit, he hit the spinner. <laughs> oh, man. It's sitting up kind of on top of the rough there, and he man, loves hitting those shots. Did he? Oh. That length doesn't matter. What a putt. Oh. <laughs> well, you called it. And a really good shot at another birdie. He will likely make that. Yep. That was solid all the way. So that gets him again back to even at nine under. And Scotty Scheffler moves to 12 under par. Be a little bit more shallow. No surprises there. No. One of the great short games in the sport. Let's see what happens here. 
played imagination, the, everything. Yeah, played the bump. It's the safe play. I, I was a little surprised he didn't go a little up with that. Must not have loved the Y. Justin Thomas is at eight. Can he join the birdie party at eight? I mean, how many today have been really, really tight? Oh, there's another one. We've seen every single player hit the exact same shot. <laughs> that is amazing. No, oh, he makes another one. To a baker's dozen under par and a three-shot lead. Okay. There we go, there we go. Dan Hicks along with Paul McGinley and Kirk Byram here as we continue our third round coverage here of Tiger's tournament. Good chance to pick up a birdie for Woods. For the first time on this second nine, a bit of a slow start for Tiger today as he makes his latest comeback after his latest of more than a dozen surgeries through his illustrious career. So it's a nice up and down for Tiger to tie for second four back. Yeah, he's moved it well up this hole in two here is the big hitting Tony Finau. Oh, ex excellent from him. That's going to be a good chance for Birdie. We haven't seen many guys up there close to pin high. This is Finau at 11 for Birdie to get into solo second. And he does after all the time off and just basically working out in his off time. Boom. It's a lethal combination. Ball striking always been elite and Scheffler figuring out how to get it in the hole on the greens. Wait on the left side. That's how most of the players are playing it this week. That's beautiful there from Fino making sure getting the ball first. Not ideal playing conditions, as you were saying earlier, Dan, with the heavy rain they had only a month ago. Back out at the 12th. This is Fitzpatrick for birdie. Trying to bounce back from that double at the par 5 11th. That's and got it back. done. I love that stat on the PGA Tour, bounce back ability. It's a window into the mind of a player to be able to reset. As hard of a hole location as I have seen today, back into the breeze. And this is a five iron on a very aggressive line. Really good. That's really, really, really good there. That's why he's one of the best iron players in the game. This is Fitzpatrick over at 14. Not an easy shot. This was just earlier. Long shot from the sand, so chance to get the double digits under par for if it's Patrick. This one a little longer than that. Oh man, drops it in. That was the second closest tee shot at 12. Sam Burns only bettered Scheffler with 10 feet one inch, so that was a birdie from 13 feet 10 inches. Double bogey at 11, but he birdied nine or birdied 12, I should say. And then looking for another one here. Very good there from Fitzpatrick. So two birdies, the bounce back we talked about. The leader in that category actually is Max Homa. Yeah, that's a big drive. Only 169 yards left here back into the win. Let's see if he can get it close. And you might have seen on the plane through Jason Day make a long bogey putt here. So he escaped there with a five at Finau with a rare birdie. Yeah, it's incredible how good he was tee to green. Are we going to see just the second birdie all week at 16? Yes, Tony Finau, who hit the closest approach shot all week, pays it off on the most difficult hole of the week. Again, the only other birdie made by Max Homa on Thursday. This is Fitzpatrick at the par 5 15 for Eagle. Coming off a nice stretch, two birdies in the last three holes. After the bounce back from the double, he delivers the eagle. What a stretch for Fitzpatrick. Pretty aggressive. Oh, and really good, Smiley. That is a great second shot. He's coming off back to back birdies at 14 and 15, but then again, then you run into this hole. But. There's more ways than one to make a birdie. Made some changes with Phil Kenyon, a bigger grip on there. This is via John Wood, who checked in with Todd Scott, Teddy Scott about this. But yeah, another putt. Jeez, he's putting so well. So they cut an inch and a half off that putter, 
a bigger grip. So this for bogey for Finau would be a good five after finding the water with his second. But he's unable to convert that. So it's a bogey and double bogey finish for Finau, who was at 13 under. Just a couple back of Scheffler at the time. And now he's all the way down to 10 under. He's seven back of Scheffler after Scheffler Eagles. As we go to 17, Matt Fitzpatrick. He's trying to get himself in that final group. Have eyes on Scheffler tomorrow in that final round. Another really good look at birdie for Fitzpatrick. Steve, that's a guy. If he could get in that last group, he may not catch Scheffler, but the way he putts. On a good line, staring it down, turning over a hair now. Oh, terrific. Oh, it's brilliant there from Thomas. Second at 18 for Fitzpatrick, who played it right along the edge. Normally good from here, 129 wedge right in his wheelhouse. Not bad there, not bad at all. Not enjoying quite the stellar season, uh, Paul McGinley, no. you would know about that. Yeah, they got hammered today, 5-0. But Fitzpatrick <laughs> drops one home to shoot a 65. Scheffler was looking for just the third bogey free round this week. Jordan Spieth had one of the two yesterday. Max Homa turned it in today with one birdie and all the rest pars, but still a 65 for Scheffler. So Scheffler, the runner up here in this Hero World Challenge, the last two years in position to finally finish it off. He's got 13 top five finishes in the last 12 months, but just two of those our wins happened in Phoenix and the players. So Scheffler has been up on top of all sorts of leaderboards the last year, but hasn't been able to finish off as many as he's wanted. And there's the host, Tiger Woods, even for the championship.